Hi, I'm Rudy Winston with Canon USA. In the next few minutes, we're going to give you some information and some preliminary details on two long-awaited new full-frame Canon EOS digital SLRs, the Canon EOS 5DS and the EOS 5D SR. Both are ultra-high resolution cameras with 50.6 million effective pixels on a full-frame CMOS sensor produced by Canon. This is pixel resolution similar to some current medium format SLRs and digital backs, but with all the benefits of the digital SLR form factor. The compact size, the shooting speed, the AF performance, the lens options, and so on. The signature highlight of these two cameras is their incredible reproduction of fine detail. And they target the photographer who shoots finely detailed subjects, produces large printed output, or those who occasionally rely on cropping into original files. We're speaking of photographers like landscape and nature shooters. Commercial photographers, especially those who work in the studio, photographing products ranging from vehicles and beauty to food and small products. Portrait and wedding photographers, especially those who specialize in the sale of large prints architectural photographers, and photographers looking for the best possible quality in high-end book and magazine reproduction. These are two cameras that emphasize tremendous fine detail and image resolution. A couple of points about the 50.6 million pixel CMOS sensor on these cameras. It's identical on both the S and SR models. And as a point of comparison, the size of each individual pixel on this sensor is about the same size as those on the sensor of an EOS 7D Mark II. In fact, the only difference between the 5DS and the 5DSR model is that the 5DSR cancels the effect of the low-pass filter to give us a little more sharpness in some situations. This means that the SR model may be even better suited for photographers requiring maximum sharpness and detail, photographers shooting landscapes, certain type of commercial applications, and so on. Where you'll see the difference is a slight increase in edge detail, the detail in fine lines, and certain types of texture. Now, the added sharpness from this removal of the low-pass filter effect on the EOS 5DSR, there is the added risk of occasional moiré patterns or false color in some situations, such as when shooting fabrics or subjects with fine repeating lines or patterns. Because of this, we think that many photographers are going to regard the 5DSR as a specialized version of the EOS 5DS. EOS 5DS is based on the familiar EOS 5D Mark III. The body design is the same, the exterior control layout is identical to the 5D Mark III. EOS 5DS has the same high-precision 61-point focusing system. It's compatible with the same battery packs as the 5D Mark III model. The new cameras shoot it up to 5 frames a second. So moving into the EOS 5DS is an easy transition, whether you already are a Canon shooter or if you're coming to Canon from a different brand. Now, as we launch the EOS 5DS, a very important point is to understand that it does not replace the EOS 5D Mark III in the Canon product line. We understand that not every Canon shooter has a need for super high pixel resolution. And for those photographers, the 5D Mark III remains a viable and practical alternative for many different types of shooting. When we look at the 50 million pixels the EOS 5DS offers, the numbers are staggering. It's more than twice the pixel resolution of the 5D Mark III. It gives us files with tremendous ability to reproduce fine detail and texture. When you shoot a full resolution file with this camera, you're recording with 50.3 million actual recording pixels. A raw full resolution image puts about a 60 megabyte file onto your memory card. A full res file from the EOS 5DS opens up in a program like Photoshop at 144 megabytes, and that would be in the software's 8-bit setting. If you open it up as a 16-bit file, it's a 288 megabyte file. 
Many photographers can recall the days when clients and stock agents were crying for photographers to be able to deliver 50 megabyte images. So think what you have now with the EOS 5DS. This is going to be an outstanding camera for large prints for photographers who are into wide format printing. With absolutely no resizing or interpolation of this camera's files, at 300 dpi, it'll produce nearly a 20 by 30 inch print, again with absolutely no interpolation. Now, we do give you reduced resolution options for both RAW and JPEG shooting with the EOS 5DS. Again, understanding that not every situation calls for full 50 million pixel files. You have reduced resolutions for RAW shooting. You have reduced resolution choices for JPEG shooting, giving you a variety of practical options for different types of situations. Just one real life example. For a wedding shooter, for instance, could shoot his or her formal bridal portraits as full 50.3 million pixel files, and then for things like reception candidates, switch to far more efficient 12.4 or 28 million pixel raw files. So the camera gives you high resolution when you need it, but it's easy to back off raw or JPEG to more common file sizes for less demanding applications. Now, when you do go to lower resolution settings in the EOS 5DS, the maximum shooting speed remains five frames per second. But the burst rate, the number of consecutive shots you can take in a row, will increase. EOS 5DS has two memory card slots, a CF slot and an SD card slot. So it's easy to combine full resolution files with lower resolution files if you need to share or immediately distribute those. The high resolution sensor in the 5DS also gives you options for cropped shooting in the camera. You can shoot square images, you can shoot into images with a 1.3 times crop, or match the size of the sensor that's being used in our APS-C cameras, like an EOS 7D Mark II, for instance, with a 1.6 times crop. In that latter setting, the 1.6 times crop, you still have 20 million pixels of information with longer effective reach if you need it. Some of the other highlights on the EOS 5DS and the companion EOS 5DSR model. The metering system in both cameras is our new 150,000 pixel RGB metering, a tremendous metering system where the metering sensor is almost like a small imaging sensor, giving us the ability to not only read brightness, but color throughout the scene to identify scenes, identify faces. Tremendous accuracy for ambient metering and for ETTL flash. This metering system teams up with our focusing system to give us what we call EOS ITR, Intelligent Tracking and Recognition, so that if you're working with moving subjects in AI Servo AF and you have all your focusing points active, the metering system is helping the camera identify where the subject is as it moves around the frame and which focusing points to use at a given moment. The camera has anti-flicker shooting for still images. So, like our EOS 7D Mark II, if you're in a situation on location where you're working under fluorescent or certain other kinds of artificial lights that may be cycling on and off rapidly, the camera can actually detect this and change shutter timing so it matches the peak of brightness from the lights in the room. ISO range on the 5DS ranges from 100 to 6400, and that can be expanded to ISO 50 or 12,800. We also have the very sophisticated auto ISO capabilities from the EOS 7D. So EOS 5DS joins the 7D Mark II as having the most advanced auto ISO control in the Canon system. EOS 5DS also gives us the familiar in-camera noise reduction separately for both high ISO noise and control of long exposure noise. Another great feature is the intelligent viewfinder in the EOS 5DS. 
It gives virtually 100% coverage, and it includes two different types of indication for cropping, for the 1.3 times, the 1.6 times, and square crops. You can have either lines for your cropping, or you can have the area being cropped completely masked off. There are several new changes in the body to minimize the impact of vibration within the camera, and that's very important in a high-resolution camera. These include a totally new motorized mirror mechanism that cushions the shock of the mirror going up and down without lowering its speed, and stronger base plate on the camera, stronger tripod socket, to minimize the impact of vibration when the camera's tripod mounted. And finally, mirror lock has been refined. So we not only have traditional mirror lock as a menu setting that you can pick, but you can also pick a variety of settings that delay the shutter action after the mirror rises, giving the camera a chance to settle down from any harmonic vibrations, ranging from an eighth of a second to two full seconds after you fully press the shutter. Finally, because the camera has such large files, these can be moved efficiently with USB 3.0 connectivity to compatible computers and devices. Now, the question remains, is the new high-resolution EOS 5DS or the 5DSR the right camera for you? If large and supremely detailed output is an important part of your work, then an EOS 5DS may indeed be your next camera. The 50.6 million pixels open tremendous new imaging possibilities for Canon full-frame shooters. EOS 5DS is an ideal step up for the advanced enthusiast or professionals who shoot landscape images. We spoke earlier of some obvious possibilities with these high-resolution cameras, but think of a few things here. Think of some of the other possibilities that high resolution offers. Certain types of technical photography, deep sky astronomy, stock photography, fine art photography. Beyond that, think of applications where you may have historically not thought of using high resolution cameras. Think of the possibilities this could bring to sports and action photography with the potential of being able to see every bead of sweat on an athlete or see every stitch in the uniform. Think of what this could bring for wildlife shooters. And think of areas where you may have historically dreamed of using medium format as an option. In many of these cases, the EOS 5DS and 5DSR can step right in. Compared to medium format, you'll find the 5DS far lighter, smaller, and more portable. You'll find you have far more lens choices. Every lens in the Canon system in our EF series, our macro lenses, and our tilt shift lenses will work with this camera. You'll have vastly superior autofocus capability, especially in low light or with moving subjects. You'll have flash options that include complete compatibility with our wireless ETTL speed light system. And finally, Compared to medium format digital, you'll find the EOS 5DS is far more affordable. So with the launch of the EOS 5DS and the companion 5DSR model, Canon now has a broad full frame lineup of cameras, starting with the affordable and compact EOS 6D, moving from there to the proven and versatile EOS 5D Mark III, our most popular full-frame digital SLR, and that camera has HD video features that are designed to meet the needs of demanding DSLR video shooters. From there, the new high-resolution 5DS and the 5DSR with the added potential sharpness for critical users. And finally, at the top of our full-frame line, the EOS 1DX with its tremendous strength, durability, weather resistance, build quality, speed, focusing performance, an ideal camera for sports, wildlife, action shooting, any tough situations. And keep in mind, EOS 1DX remains the best camera in our lineup in terms of low light performance. We'll be back in the coming weeks with more detailed information on the EOS 5DS and the 5DSR cameras. For Canon USA, I'm Rudy Winston. Thank you for joining us.